Hello, my lovely Scorpio. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope all of you are feeling absolutely wonderful. For those that are new to this channel, including cross watchers, a very, very warm welcome. I do encourage you to subscribe if you do like this reading. That way, Scorpio, you never, ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every Wednesday. And that is the beauty of subscribing to this particular channel is that every Wednesday, Scorpio, you get two different readings, two separate videos uploaded for you in your dedicated playlist. So Scorpio, I, Fifi, primarily focus on your personal romantic love life, whereas Gigi does focus on other areas of your life, such as home, work, family, friends, obviously career, <laughs> you know, your finances, your study, travel, and everything else in between. So Scorpio, if you want some insight into other areas of your life and not just romance, um, do check out Gigi's reading. In fact, if you do have time today, um, or any time this week or on the weekend, um, go to your dedicated playlist because Gigi has already uploaded your video. It is live um, and it's there waiting for you if you want some clarity, you know, for other areas. So let's get straight into this one. Let me clear the deck first. Scorpio, I've pretty much handed over the reins to my spirit team and to the collective watching this, your spirit team, right? So I want them to kind of intervene and let you know of any new love messages, any new love energies coming towards you, what's the heads up, anything that you should know, the people around you, whether it's someone new coming into your life, is it someone that you're dealing with now, could be on again or off again, is it someone from your past? I'm gonna leave it completely up to them. So here we go, Scorpio. Let's do this. Any new love messages for the collective watching this, please, to my spirit team and your spirit team. One more, please. Excellent. All right, so the cards are moving good. So they're not really kind of like shocking or gluing together. So there's, I'm not feeling any stuck energy from you, Scorpio. I feel like you're in a much more better place. There's something you're feeling hopeful about. It could be about romance, but something that you're probably secretly working on it could be about your career or something that you're wishing for. I feel like you're, you're, you're definitely on the right path. You're focused, hyper-focused. I love that. Three more, two more, one more. All right. All right. I don't know why they're showing me some names. Again, it's very rare for that to happen, but when I do see names, I don't ignore it. <laughs> um, they're showing me something that starts with the letter R. So it could be like Rose, Rosie, Ralph, and they're showing me G. So like Greg or Gregory. If, on, if you don't know who those names are, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Um, it could be for someone else. But I always say keep your options open because those names might make sense um, in the future. All right. So bottom of the deck, overall energy is justice. You are balancing whatever was imbalanced here. This is Libra energy here, by the way. Truth justice fairness i love the justice card on its own because it means yes to anything so i'm really liking this for some of you might be receiving an apology here but it's a genuine one it's straight to the point and it's backed by facts it's not like scorpio um i'm sorry that this and this happened because i was drunk that's not an excuse that was a choice i see here that someone is going to be perhaps apologizing to you Ooh apologizing to you um but it's going to be about facts it seems like someone would actually also like to balance the scales here with you as well make up for lost time there might be some issues here either on your side or your person's side which is going pretty good legalities separation divorce and we also have that's why i stopped i had to look to, i had to do a double take we have the magician very strong gemini and virgo energy your person can be any gender or any star sign but I feel like someone particular that you know is manifesting themselves back into your life. They haven't done this yet. It has, I mean, they're in the process, but it's the overall energy. It's not on top yet. Wow. According to your person, according to them, they have all the tools they need now to make this work. Both of you collectively as a team, starting on a clean slate here. Oh, someone's thinking about you harder, praying harder, wishing harder, manifesting harder here. Everything lies in the balance, though. The hanged man, Pisces energy. So we've started off already with so many major arcanas. So the next few days to the next few weeks, Scorpio, is going to be pretty powerful. And when we do actually get majors, it really means that your spirit team has taken the reins over this particular connection in a beautiful way. But this also speeds up the, um, the events. So the more majors we see, 
Instead of this happening, wh whoever's going to be reaching out to you, if it's going to happen in six months, your spirit team's like, Scorpio's ready, they're in a good place. This is going to happen in a month and a half, two or three. Wow, things are hanging in the balance. I see here that you're probably not talking to this person the, and whoever this person is, I think you'd know. Are they going through some legalities? Things are suspended in the air. They're, oh yeah, you're getting an apology. We've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We've got reunion, apology, someone that wants to re-spark that romance. And boy, are they manifesting this. Could be the King of Wands. It doesn't have to be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. This is someone who's very passionate, very attracted to you. They want to take control of this situation. They don't want it to let it slip away. And there we go. Judgment. That is you, Scorpio energy. It is the card of resurrection, revival, bringing something back to life, asking for a second chance. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. This time we're cleansed and we're a lot more better though. Yeah, I almost feel that you haven't gotten clarity about this person. You don't know where you stand with them. Mm, okay we're not moving forward we're not moving back let's talk here about the energy of the current situation okay nine of swords gemini energy so it, it probably shows to me scorpio that maybe you're having a bit of trouble sleeping focusing here the night seem very very long as we can see even the birds are still awake at night the moon's keeping them up it is about guilt as well about nervous energy depression feeling sometimes just a little bit lonely here as well but I'm really getting this is more of your person. They're hyper-focused on you. They could be having weird dreams or even nightmares here about you, rejecting them. There is a lot of regret, especially Scorpio, if you think, I regret letting this person in my life. I regret giving them my heart, being so vulnerable. I think there's a regret here that how things have ended. There's, there's like this lack of closure. There's lack of explanation here of why is it that things are suspended in the air? Exactly why did you go your separate ways? Many, some of you could be saying, I actually still don't know. Things are going great and now I'm, I'm on my own. Let's talk about you. How do you view this person? Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, energy. Are you secretly holding on to this person or even secretly still holding on to the past? That's why I feel here that whatever injustice happened, something that was unruly, unfair, that was very unjust. I think some of you may, without probably even realizing, are probably still holding on to that or you think about it at night. That's why I'm thinking some of you may have trouble sleeping, you know, or we sleep, but we still wake up mentally exhausted here. But I think you're still holding on to this person. You're just a bit of a closed book. You're keeping your cards, you're keeping your heart, in other words, very close to your chest. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. Let's talk about your person. How do they view you or the connection? Five of Wands. Leo energy. So really kind of picking up that the last interaction, the last time you spoke to this person was probably not nice. I think they're afraid that there's going to be an argument. All it takes is just one match to light up and everything else will burn. Mm. There could have been competition perhaps for their attention or your attention. Could have been a lot of interference from family, friends, exes, or children of a certain age when they kind of start to understand what's happening here and they may, may have been against it. I see it happen actually quite a lot, which is kind of sad, to be honest. Mm, Couldn't have been some arguments, a butting of heads, a clash of egos, a lot of tension, arguments here. I think they're just afraid. They don't want that to happen. So in saying that, what is happening behind the scenes with your person right now? Oh, okay, not good. <laughs> Don't want to be in their spot. I say that out of respect. The Ten of Swords is a, a Gemini energy and it's when we hit rock bottom. Your person has actually hit rock bottom. I feel like there's been, there's a lot of conflict. It's loss, separation, endings, divorce here as well. Mm. Your person, have, they've gotten some pretty challenging cards here. They might be going through some legalities, separation, divorce here as well. Oh, wow. Okay. What's the beating heart of your reading? This is really important because this shows mutual energies, something you can both agree on when you think about each other. Yes? What is it? Wow. You got the best card. My number one favorite in the, out of the top 10. I keep forgetting to put it up on... Um, I always forget to put it up on um, the community page. I will definitely do it this week. Ruled by Leo. This is my number one favorite in the top 10 because it's literally the most happiest card. It is about pure joy, it's bliss, it's blessings. It's also the return of physical health, especially here mental health. So whatever your person is losing sleep over, especially if you're having trouble sleeping, that is about to end. The sun is a major card of blessings and it's a big card of what? Illumination. 
So you're going to find out everything. Literally, the rays of the sun will put a spotlight in the darkness. That's why your person is willing to tell you everything. Obviously, they did something here to really hurt you. I mean, we're still holding on to them, but we are also holding on to the past. And one thing you can both agree on here is that, yes, once upon a time, you both made each other very, very happy. And both of you want that illumination. They want to know where they stand with you if they were to return. Okay. What does your person want ultimately? We know what's happening with them behind the scenes. But when it comes to you, what do they want? Where are they going with all of this? Wow. The Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could happen within the next month. I mean, you know, the sun is ruled by Leo and we are officially in Leo season. So this is happening a lot more sooner rather than later. It's the card of true love. The Ace of Cups falling in love all over again. We've got emotional healing. We're filling each other's cup first. Then we fill each other's cup. Wow. They, this person absolutely loves you. They do worship the ground you walk on. But it feels like in the past they actually didn't. I feel like almost they needed some growing up to do. They probably took advantage that you were there. Probably thought you were always going to be there. Let's talk about your person's hopes and their wishes, but also their fears. Yeah, that you're not going to be certain. The Seven of Cups is you. That is exclusively Scorpio energy. That you're going to be emotionally confused. That you have your own options. That you're looking somewhere else. And I think this is what's really kind of causing a lot of anxiety. I'm seeing a lot of anxiety. Nervous energy here um, and depression with your person when it comes to you. What if you can't make up your mind? But a big hope is that you're going to narrow everything down and say, okay, I do want to meet you in the middle. Let's talk about the near future, what's going to happen. This will directly impact you because it's in line with you. And it's the Knight of Wands. It's supposed to be the Knight in Shining Armor. It's Mr. or Mrs. Wright. It's the Traveling Knight. It's the Call to Action Knight and the second fastest moving Knight. Okay, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. I think you're going to meet this person. You will take action here. There's a bit of a gray area where you're a bit quiet and then you take action. We're meeting in the middle. Let's talk about the outcome. Wow, another Knight. The Knight of Pentacles and my favorite knight, very strong Virgo energy, could also be a Taurus or a Capri, corn. <laughs> this is taking it slow, one day at a time, no rushing. This is like, let's do this romance all over again, but this time let's do it properly, right? Let's do it right and let's just, there's no need to rush here. So we know that here, all the knights are messages, offers, transitions, communication here. I feel like they're going to be offering you, despite the odds against them, <laughs> Um, we're seeing here that um, they want to offer you something of value, something promising here. Ooh, okay. There's going to be a lot of action with these knights. I do want to clarify these cards though. Two more. Just do it one more time. Just want to do a really good shuffle here. Excellent. More messages, please, for Scorpio. Everything and anything that Scorpio should know about this person. Ooh, sorry if that was too loud. It's funny how they just slam down like that. I'm almost hearing a knock at the door. Yeah, just be aware of that. They might just show up at your work or um, where you live. Three more, two more, last one. All right here we go that might actually surprise you that might be a towel moment it's like you just never saw that happening it's like you're at my door and i'm wearing my pajamas for example bottom of the deck we have the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy this is definitely someone now that is seeking something commit committed something long term with you if not even marriage and I, what I like is that they're a lot more grounded now. It's like there's something about you, Scorpio, where you ground this person. You bring them back to earth. You bring them back to reality here. You center them. They're seeking something. Wow. They've got a good head on their shoulders now. They're doing good with business and all that. They're going to take control. I like that we're getting this grown-up king energy, regardless of gender. We've got the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We've got apologies. They're going to be sending you this message. It's fueled by love. It's backed by emotions. Are they nervous about it? Absolutely. We've got the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy. Emotions for you, they run very deep. I haven't seen someone so anxious in a long time. I almost feel it in my chest. Like they, they have some anxiety issues. It's very hard for your person to calm down because they're worried about the future, fear of the unknown. And that's where the moon is. They're in the dark. They find you a bit of a mystery. They don't know how you're going to receive them. 
All they know is that they want to come back to you. Three of Cups, Cancer, Energy. That's my friendship card. It's opening up lines of communication. It comes with a huge dose of emotional healing and harmony. That is reconciliation. They're miserable. Like the three goes on to the four. They're absolutely miserable without you. More Cancer Energy with that Four of Cups. Yeah, the person's very depressed. They want to talk to you. All these kings, what's going on? Aquarius Energy. They want to talk to you. They're missing you. Wow. Let's talk about that Nine of Swords. That's clarified by the Fool. Wow. Aries energy. Whether your person is near or far away, they're looking to the future. They've come out of the deep. They're going into the shore right now. And this is the first card of the Major Arcana. It is unnumbered, but it's a brand new cycle. It's reclaiming the purity and the innocence of this connection. It's about brand new beginnings. And despite the odds against them and the risks involved, your person is still going to bite the bullet and they are going to reach out to you because they cannot stand I feel like your person feels very lonely here without you. Let's talk about you. Seven of Wands. Leo energy. So you're a bit defensive at the moment. You know, it's almost like your person's there and like there you are, your friends, your family, your dog, your cat, everyone, your neighbors are all defending you. So I feel it's almost like, yeah, you've got your guard up with this person. I feel like you are curious because I see here, you know, for me, pages and knights are quite curious people. So yeah, your boundaries are very tight. You're being very assertive. You have no problem putting your foot down, standing your ground and defending your position here. But some of you are curious, wondering, is this worth fighting for? I think you're just going a little bit back and forth. You might be feeling just a bit confused about this person now upon their return. Your person as the Five of Wands is clarified by the Five. We literally got all the Kings now. This is the King of Cups and that is you, that Scorpio energy, regardless of your gender. This person absolutely loves you. I think they're prepared to fight for you. That might actually really surprise you because sometimes we get used to people just, they leave and they never come back. I feel like this person actually may fight for you. They want to be with you. They know that you're loyal. You're all about the home and the family here and they want to match you. Let's talk about that Ten of Swords. What your person is going through, it's also the Eight of Cups, more Pisces energy. I think your person has walked away here from a commitment, a marriage, a family situation, because the eight goes towards the nine of cups, which is their wish fulfillment, which is you. Wow. And if your person also was the one that actually ended things and left you, they tried to emotionally disconnect, but that was not working. So we got someone leaving and then returning. But definitely your person is walking away here from something that they've been committed to. They're walking away from it to be with you. Wow. All right, the sun please is clarified. We've got the Knight of Wands twice. I think both of you, look at that. We're both, both these Knights are looking to the future. That is absolutely wonderful. So they're coming to you. I think you're going to them. That's going to make you happy. This is all about action. And we know that actions speak a lot more louder than words. So let's talk more action. Time to redeem themselves. Yeah. Eve, I think you're just curious here. You do have your guard up. It's like, okay, Time to talk. What, what, do you, what do you have to say for yourself here? And yeah, I'm seeing here that both of you are meeting in the middle and there's going to be some happiness there. I can see it, even though we're taking it very slow. Now, the Ace of Cups is clarified Ooh, by temperance, Sagittarius energy. That's a major arcana there. This is all about peace, balance, harmony. It's about renewal. It's about moderation, taking it one day at a time where your person needs to be very patient. Patience is definitely acquired here. In fact, you've got two cards saying, take all the time you need, don't rush into this. This is going to be a slow moving relationship because things are hanging in the balance because we did see the hanged man um, before. Yeah, everything hangs in the balance. Everything that they say, everything that they do will determine if you will give them a second chance or not. It's all about moderation. It's the complete opposite of the devil energy, which is the card of extremes. Wow. They really need to inject a lot of harmony back into this relationship after what they did, after everything that they're prepared to leave for. Let's talk about you. Wow. Yeah, I, I see you're not sure about this person. The Seven of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Cups. What are the chances of that? Different cards, different authors. The Seven of Cups clarifies the Seven of Cups. You're still not really sure about this person, which is why there's very slow moving energy here. It's like, you know what? I think you're happy to take this person back as a friend and even there you're probably mm, not sure you're drawing the line I think you have other options and your other options could be maybe there's someone else you're eyeing out someone else has caught your attention maybe I want to travel I want to do this I want to do that should I be single or not I don't know what to do maybe I want to, I feel like you're, you're focusing your 
energy in a very productive way on other areas of your life. And there's just a bit of emotional confusion here as well. You're still not sure. And I think your person knows that. They absolutely know it and it terrifies them. The Knight of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Swords. We've seen the Ten of Swords twice. Not a nice image to look at, right? But it's very, um, pretty much on spot here, isn't it? More Gemini energy. There's loss, endings, separation, divorce. Some of you may be tempted to say no, or at least prove to me that this is indeed done. There is no third party. You know, there is no but, you know, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, I think both of you may be moving, moving away very slowly, moving away from these endings. Let's talk about that Knight of Pentacles, please. Yeah, I think both of you are moving away from anything that happened between the both of you in the past, moving away here from past relationships, and the Knight of Pentacles is going toward what? The star. Aquarius energy. There is the North Star. Hopes, wishes. It's a card of miracles. Wishes coming true. And literally washing away all the past pain. Split the deck. Yep, we've got the Ten of Cups. My favorite ten. Pisces energy. Reconciliation. My happily ever after. Wow. Just that emotional abundance. We've got commitment, engagement, marriage, children, a blended family. It's just having it all. It's amazing, isn't it? That we got the sun, the moon, the star. So we're literally, you know, going around the earth. This is going to, this is going to last. I mean, this is what the knight is doing. They're galloping away from that ten of swords. And the eight of cups here is walking away from that ten of swords as well. And if you take it slow, one day at a time here. It's very a lot more grounded this time. The star is there to heal this. There's a lot to be hopeful about. This is amazing. Wow. Justice is going to be served. The scales will be balanced. Wow, Scorpio. This was um, surprising. There's a lot of more mature energy with all these kings here and the knights. Amazing. All right. Scorpio, you may need a little bit more convincing here from this person. I think they're going to prove to you how things have ended, how they, this is not going to happen ever again. And we go towards the star. So it's looking quite promising. There's a lot of healing here. So Scorpio, this is what I have. I thank you for joining me. And this is what you can expect in the next short weeks to the next short months. Um, until you kind of learn, you know, until you feel good to put those walls down. Until you feel emotionally, yep, this is what I want. So I will see you in the next few days with a brand new reading, fresh new topic, different cards. And I thank you again for joining me and I will see you very soon. And always remember, you're in control. Power to you. Bye.